All righty, uh, here we go. Hey, I'm Graham. Hey, I'm Ethan. I'm Eli. I'm Jack. We all are Manly Hill, and we're the Manly Hero. And we're the Manly Hero. We are here at Muscle Shoals to have amazing gear. I mean, this is an amazing place, uh, incredible vibe, and it's very, you know, easy to flow here. Muscle Shoals is such a great experience. It takes a certain type of musician to appreciate the type of sounds and uh, energy that Muscle Shoals has. My name is Michael Shane Wright, and uh, I'm a native of the Shoals. I was born here in 1966, and my family's been here since the turn of the century. Uh, and in the real heyday of the music scene here, the first heyday, I should really say, of the music scene here in the Shoals, um, all the folks that were the names that people know today, whether those are you know, Jimmy Johnson or Quinn Ivey or Mitch Self from WLAY, uh, these were all the folks that my dad ran with, and so they were familiar names. And in fact, we named uh, this place Ivy Manor of the Shoals in part uh, because uh, right here out the window of the master bedroom uh, stands the house of Quinn Ivey just across the street from the studio. And Quinn, of course, was the producer who identified Percy Sledge and When a Man Loves a Woman and, and brought us this great historic uh, song that stood the test of time now for decades. And so here we are in the shadow of his home um, making new music. Muscle Shoals hit recording capital of the world. There are several different studios in the Shoals. We have Muscle Shoals Sound, uh, Fame Studios, and those are those are the two studios that kind of paved the way and have the most like historical success. Um, Percy Sledge, Wilson Pickett, Aretha Franklin, uh, the Rolling Stones, Cher, um, all came here to make music. It's the first time in Alabama that. Um, black artists and white musicians were kind of collaborating and coming together and changing the way music music was being created in the South. It was colorblind harmony. new music and new musicians coming to the shoals and we're, we're fusing the old and the new together. We're bringing those great traditions of, of the southern rhythm and blues. It's creating something new and I'm certainly hopeful as somebody who's investing in the shoals uh, that we're going to continue uh, this renaissance that started within the last decade to see a new era where once again the Shoals is considered the hit recording capital of the world. Not just as it was in the 70s, but again uh, in this new millennium. It's just so many people like describe this place as a small town, like a small rural town in Alabama, but there's magic here and that's like what has drawn people here for so long. 